Heartbeats only happen one at a time, one at a time. You can't rush a moment, so don't even try, don't even try. There's a symphony you're missing. If you only listen, you'll find big magic in the mundane, the big picture in a small frame. Everything is sacred when you take time to notice. Big love happens in the small moments. Big love happens in the small. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new around here, my name is Sarah. I am a mommy to five and I am so glad that you have stopped by. Today's video is going to be a nighttime routine of a mom of five kids in the summer. This is actually a Sunday night and we are having breakfast for dinner. My kids love breakfast for dinner. I don't know about your alls, but Besides pizza, this is probably their favorite thing to eat for dinner. So tonight we made waffles, we made biscuits. My husband actually mastered bacon grease gravy. And if you are not from Appalachia, that probably sounds disgusting to you, but I grew up on it and I love some gravy and biscuits. Not biscuits and gravy, it's gravy and biscuits where I come from. And I'm so glad that he finally mastered how to make that because I cannot make it for the life of me. But tonight we're just enjoying a dinner as a family and then we have some fun activities planned before bedtime. Does anyone else have a love-hate relationship with babies feeding themselves? I mean, he was a mess, but I'm actually going to go ahead and bathe him and put him down to bed for the night because part of the fun of family fun nights sometimes is getting the baby to bed early. That way you can actually enjoy things without the baby getting into things and whining. Is anyone else with me? We save a lot of our family fun activities for after Grant's bedtime. He's still little enough to not know any better and it just makes it more enjoyable for all of us. His little nighttime snuggles will never get old. And I know I will miss these so much one day. Literally all you have to do is just lay him on your chest and he puts his little thumb in his mouth and he snuggles up and he is so stinking precious. I mean, I know I'm biased, but he is my baby and babies don't keep. And I love these nighttime snuggles with him.
While I was putting Grant to bed, the older kids were starting on their nighttime chores, which include cleaning off the table and cleaning up after dinner. They kind of alternate who does what each night, and tonight was Caleb's turn to sweep the floor and McKinley's turn to clean off the table. So they went ahead and got that done, and I went ahead and continued to load the dishwasher with the pots and pans and things that they can't really clean themselves. That way we could get on to family fun and not worry about the mess <laughs> in the kitchen afterwards. Hi. Hi. I love Minecraft. Minecraft, Minecraft, Fortnite is horrible. Minecraft, Minecraft. Minecraft is overrated. No, it's not. <laughs> Minecraft, Minecraft, I love Minecraft. Now that the chores are over and Grant is in bed, it is time for family fun night. On this particular night, we are heading into the backyard for s'mores and just some family time. During the summer, our schedules are totally different. We keep our kids up later. They sleep in in the morning. And we just really kind of just... I don't know, see where the day takes us with no agenda per se. So tonight it was all about family fun and enjoying each other. And I mean, y'all, seriously, my little man in his Superman cape and underwear is about the stinking cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Do y'all agree? Yeah, it's a fire. Yeah, it's a fire. It's hot. It is hot. No, it's hot. It's hot. Do you like fires? I mean, yeah. yeah. Trees are made for climbing
After s'mores, the kids played this zombie tag game for probably a good hour while Nick and I just sat and enjoyed the fire and watched them play. So it was all in all an amazing night. They really enjoyed time with their siblings. We were able to just like watch them and realize how blessed we were. And it was just great family fun. Around 9.30, I finally decided it was time to bring them in and get them cleaned up. They were filthy. That's probably an understatement. Like their feet were like black and they definitely needed baths. So we went ahead and did baths and teeth brushing and got them dressed and all of the normal nighttime routine. Big Bro came upstairs after his shower and the boys always request that he reads to them if he's around during their nighttime routine. So tonight that's what they did and they were reading Chicka Chicka Boom Boom and every time they said Chicka Chicka Boom Boom, Caleb would tickle Paxton and they were like cackling and it was the cutest thing ever. You gave me a drawer in your kitchen You gave me the room with a view of the yard Whatever the hurt, you knew right where to kiss it You gave me the best of your heart And you carried my rocks in your pocket Flowers and feathers butterfly wings you had an answer for all of my questions you showed me wonderful things i know that it hasn't been easy i hope that i love like you do cause i know that this world would be better Everyone had a mother like you You make the best macaroni We never cared that it came from a box The mom in the stands always clapping her started cheering and still haven't stopped and you held me when I came home crying cause someone said something that just wasn't true I always said that Janelle was my best friend but really it's always been you I know We have all the kids tucked in, the campfire smell has been washed away, and I am ending our summer night. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like watching these routine videos, be sure to let me know in the comments below and I'll make more of them. Thank you again for always being so supportive, and if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe to my channel if you like what you see. I produce a lot of mommy content on this channel and I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thank you again and I'll see you on my next video. Will they be when they're grown? I know it won't always be easy. I hope I can love like you do, cause I know that my kids will be better if they.